it looks like this video is going to be a hell of a long video <laughs> so i'm trying to go through very quickly Hey guys welcome back to my channel and as always i'm so excited to be here today it's all about perfume i'm going to talk about the perfume that i think you should get it in your collection okay if you're a woman please get all this in your collection um i got a message from on facebook messenger about the type of perfumes to use because he you know buy perfumes and get bored with it and doesn't like it again i was also once like that but then the advice is you know you get a couple if about five or six and then you try to you know rotate them you know so you don't use one perfume for a very long time yes of course this is fragrance if you use it for a very long time you become used to it unless you love 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 the fragrance so that's the advice i've been giving to people so if you can and it shouldn't necessarily be a very expensive perfumes okay there are perfumes that are very very expensive if you're going to do that i mean you're not going to afford it very expensive so you can you know there's a lot of fragrance out there especially celebrity fragrance i'm going to talk about celebrity fragrance at some stage um you know they are very not expensive you know and they have a quality ones as well i'll talk about them so you know which one to choose from or try just sample it and see how you go all right um so we are going to talk about the perfume but these are the ones that i think as a woman you should get it in your collection you may not agree with me which is okay but you know as always perfumes are very individual it's very personal so what i like may not be what you like but just so to give you some ideas of how you know some perfume smells like and if you think they are your note you can just give it a go okay and i'll say this again this video is not sponsored all right this video is not sponsored in any way it's just that you know i love talking about perfume fragrances and you'll be surprised i don't even use them that much but the fact that I don't know i just like anything with a very beautiful presentation sometimes i buy my perfume because of the way it present okay so i'm going to talk about perfumes that i think you should get it in your collection but before we go ahead and talk about it this is the part i like outfit of the day what i have on okay just to show you what i have on and if i can put a link down below and if you like it yes why not you go and get it so starting from hair to toe bad hair day this is what this is all about <laughs> okay so um you know i didn't feel like putting on wigs so i decided to just you know look nice and what i did was to use gel i used the eco styling gel the green one you know the original one that's what i use for my hair today but you can use any gel that you want so i came out of the shower i washed my hair today is my hair washing routine i wash my hair from the shower and straight away i just you know wipe it a little bit not that much i just left some water in there just to make it easy so the styling gel will just you know work properly and then i put a handful you know like a small styling gel just you know brush it you know at the back like this and then i put a styling gel just to make it stay okay so today is just my own hair all right and i put um like a, a scrunchie at the back okay so a little tie at the back just to hold it so if you have a bad hair they just try this all you need is some you know styling gel and don't forget to put product that you use in your hair before you put the styling gel so i use as i said i think i've talked about this before i mean if you go to the african shop here in australia wherever you are you can get this uh, moisturizing hair lotion you can get it it's a big one which i got for about 22 dollars or something not expensive and all you need is a, just a little one and i add a little bit of the garnier um fructose sleek and shine oil in my hair this is what i use all the time i used to use this one called do grow but it makes your hair grow it makes your hair very very thick which i've run out okay so i use that and the ones i showed to you you know all together i use it for my hair before i put the styling gel in there <laughs> all right with my eyebrows as you can see i use this big pencil <laughs> i have this big black pencil i'm here that i use um i don't know what's the name um something waterproof it looks like you know it's fading out so i can't tell but this is a big eyeshadow pencil so i use one of my brushes here like for example um i have a lot of brushes here so i can't i just put it in i can't even see it so just a small um you know eyebrow pencil so i dip it in here like that and i start tracing it so this is what i use and with my um concealer i use um this concealer that sephora sent to me 
okay so this is for free from sephora if you buy something they send you the samples and i use this one okay i use this as my concealer for my nose and you know everywhere like i use the full concealer i use this one all right so this is what it is um the shade is um they call Muyen medium i think um, they send you this this one I don't think I can ever use it but I think I can mix it with something else because it's very very like it you know very light for my skin so I use that and my foundation my overall foundation I used um, MAC okay can you see it this is the foundation I used I used MAC foundation this is the pro long wear nourishing waterproof foundation um this is what i use but i don't think it's one of my favorites okay because it's a sheer coverage okay i have to use a lot for me to get what you can see um which is not good enough but then um not everybody want full coverage if i buy foundations i want full coverage okay so maybe with that if you are not the sheer coverage or the medium coverage person maybe you can go with these ones okay the normal ones um the studio fix foundation which is really really good the little that you apply it covers all your flaws and everything you know or everything that you want to cover but then this one it took a long time you know for me or took a lot of product for me to cover what i covered so i'm not really a fan of that and um my eyeshadow i use this eyeshadow uh where is this uh i use this eyeshadow yeah it's behind my laptop here so i use this eyeshadow okay um it's called um glit glam eyeshadow beauty glaze so this is what i use for my eyeshadow and i use this color okay the last like a burgundy look color here this is what i use for my eyeshadow and i use the same for my you know my blush as you can see just i use the same thing for my blush okay if you don't know how to use eyeshadow as a blush please don't use it because it's very pigmented and you're going to look like a clown so it just goes slowly okay and this time around i even have to use my hands to wipe a little bit because it was all over the place very pigmented foundation um eyeshadow i'll put the link down below okay for this eyeshadow particularly so you can get it and um, price not that expensive and it is really really good product so that's what i use for my eyeshadow and with my glit you know as you can see um i've got this highlighter which you cannot miss that trophy white from rihanna fancy 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 yeah from rihanna so this is what i use for the shiny stuff you can see for my face and with my lipstick i have reviewed this lipstick before i went to big w and i got lipsticks very 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 cheap about two dollar fifty or something um which is ox so i use this ox i use this color um which color is this um this is called ibiza okay i'll put the video down below so you watch this video you know and watch the um my lipstick review you know i bought about 12 of these and i review this is what i have so it's liquid and then it turned into matte okay so it's matte it does not transfer and it's only two dollars something and it's very very nice i mean i don't feel anything sometimes when you have this very when you buy this very cheap you know um lipstick it feels very uncomfortable but this is it's really nice i like it so just two dollar fifty or something so this is what i have on my mouth and with my contour and if you can see i contour i always contour with fenty fenty beauty okay <laughs> so this is the fenty beauty um you know the first product that rihanna launched and i bought it so it's been a long long time i still have this this is what i use for my side and then the top here and you know just to contour make my face a little bit of a little bit thin a lot of people says i have you know natural long chain but i think i do that just to exaggerate <laughs> make it look longer which doesn't suit my face but you know this is the makeup game you know makeup game you know what i mean so that's what i use and with my um eyelashes because i like eyelashes please i don't deal with one one eyelashes i just buy it in bulk okay like this and then use them as you can see i've used this i can reuse it so look at that it is not that expensive i'll put the link down below for you to access this um if you are eyeshadow wearer or you know eyelashes sorry eyelashes wearer you know fake eyelashes you can buy this because it's very very cheap when you don't like it you just rip it and throw it up that's what i do and it's very good price and then before my foundation i put um um primer you know a silicone primer and i use the ordinary silicone primer that is the base i use it to you know apply it on my face before i put my foundation on this is my first time using this but i've owned it for years so this is my first time i don't know how it looks like 
but yeah and i'm not going to wait for long for me to you know wipe my face because this face is just for this video i'm not going anywhere um so i wouldn't know how it works or you know how long it stays or it makes your foundation stays on your face okay but then um one day i'm going to put it you know just apply it and apply my foundation and let you know how it is all right if that is okay with you all right so what again i think that's about it for my face i believe my earrings i got my earrings from um shoppy girl okay so as you can see look at that very very beautiful it looks it reminds me of versace or something the versace design i don't know so this is like a gold um you know color very beautiful long one and i've got a silver one as well uh which is here So I've got a silver one as well. It's very beautiful. I mean, classic. And it is not that heavy, okay? It is very, very light. Sometimes earrings like that comes very, very heavy. But this is very, very light. Like, no weight at all. Very, very light. So it's good for you to get it. I'll put a link down below. It's a Shoppy Girl product. So you can go and get your earrings, okay? And it looks very, very expensive. It looks very, very quality. With that price, I will let you go and search for yourself, okay? And see how you go. And my top my top i cannot put any link down below because this top i think it's been 10 years years and years and years i've owned this top for a very very long time um so i'll just get up for you to have a look ah uh, there you go so, so 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 i don't know if you can see that so there you go okay it's here the top it's got this very shiny sequence uh, which makes it looks very beautiful and i have my jeans i have a very short jeans I don't know if you can see that it's a very very short oh my god i'm too am i short or tall <laughs> i don't but i'll take a photo so you know what i'm talking about so this is the outfit of the day i'm not going anywhere so i'm not going to show you any shoe but then if i have to wear a shoe to pair what i have here um it is going to be i'm not going to overdo it it's going to be maybe a black shoe or something um which is going to be one of these okay one of these one of my ego shoes okay so this one look like bottega veneta inspired so you can see i will just wear this and you know i'm going if i'm going anywhere but i'm not going anywhere so i'm not going to wear any shoe um my next item or you know we are still on the outfit of the day is my bangles i love this i just love this bangle i also got this from shoppy girl and look at how you take it off and you know put it back on so this is like a screw okay so you can take it away like that all right and then you can screw it up so if you want to take it off you won't screw it and if you want to put it back on you just screw it in okay so easy you can do it yourself okay very very easy and the price is to die for okay so i'll put this link down below and also my last one my last thing <laughs> is the ring which i bought from um um lovisa okay i bought this from lovisa i remember i don't know if i make a video but i didn't i was talking about lovisa um you buy five for only 12 dollars or something i believe yes five for twelve dollars or something and i got this look at that very beautiful from lovisa okay so if you want lovisa lovisa is in australia probably they're international i don't think so i don't think so but yes i got this from lovisa lovisa five for twelve dollars okay so this is one of the five anyway so why am i here all right so today i am going to talk about perfumes that i think every woman should have it in their collection haven't said that if you don't agree with me yes just put them in the comment down below and tell me why if you can or let me know which perfume that i you think or <laughs> that you think you know it's your favorite and you want me to have in my collection if i can afford it yes why not i will just go and get it all right so yes let's go ahead i will not spend much time on this because i have you know i have a couple of perfumes and it is i don't want this video to go for a very long time so i'm going to do the same grab it from this side all right grab this perfume from this side and then we talk about it so i will start from the bottom okay just talk about my my favorite perfumes it is my favorite but i'll start from my least favorite to the top okay all right so number one is going to be this victoria secret okay victoria secret and the story behind this is i bought this i got this from 
um, the duty free shop when I was going to Ghana. I think it, either Singapore or Hong Kong, one of those. Yeah, I got this perfume from there. This perfume was meant to be given to a friend, you know, but unfortunately, I couldn't go to the friend's house. I think they moved from where they used to live um, to another place, so I couldn't get a chance to go and visit them. Okay, we were very busy in Ghana, so we didn't do much of a visiting, and I even forgot. So I came to Australia and I just saw it in my bag and it's like, oh, okay, I couldn't even give this to the friend, so I decided to use it. And as you can see, look at that. This tells you I like it. It's even less than a year, and look at the dates I put it in there. Very, very mild. If you are not a mild type of you know perfume person, you will not like it. It's very, very mild. Okay, very, very mild, and you can get only about six hours from it okay so it's it, it stays on you for about six hours so far it stays on you for about six hours but it smells very very expensive you know the flower you know smell it's really really nice i like this very very classic you know really really nice perfume but as i said if you don't like um very mild perfumes you will not like this if you are the strong type of perfume person you will not like that okay very very beautiful um i cannot give notes you know just give them notes for the perfumes because there's a lot for me to go through like a couple for me to go through so this is called victoria secret the bombshell this is the bombshell um collection and this is called wildflower okay wildflower as you can see so this is my first one so i'm just counting from the bottom as i said so this is my first one um number two my number two is going to be Jimmy Choo. Okay, I love this perfume. It is very, very strong. So if you are not the strong type of, you know, perfume person, maybe you will not like this because it's very, very strong. All right. And um, there's a story behind this. A friend of mine bought this perfume for my birthday. He, she bought me the 100 male one. Okay. And I use it. This is about four years ago. Um, and I use it. I finished it and I really like it in my collection. So I decided to buy another one. All right. So I bought a small one. Okay. Considering the fact that I have all these collections. So I just bought a straw, uh, you know, just the small one because I wouldn't, I really, I want this in my collection and I have a lot to go through. So I just bought the another one and my husband went to the shop called me and it's like oh i'm in the shop i want to buy something for you but i don't know what it's like you take a pick and then he came home with that he didn't even know i have that so it has become some you know some memories you know um perfume for me i don't know because a friend bought it for me and my husband also bought it for me without even knowing i like it so this is why i like this perfume all right okay this is what all right so this is why i like this perfume all right so i you know i finished 100 ml bottle and this is almost finished and my husband got me this so i'll put it back third one number three counting from the bottom again very hair i've um reviewed this perfume i told you the good stuff about this perfume so people will think i mean if you watch the, the video you will think why is this you know part of the you know the favorite one from the bottom but my problem is after i use it for some time you know it got this just metallic smell behind it you know it is very very nice it smells really good on people but then if you spray it on you aftermath smells like metal or some plastic very very strong plastic i don't know if i'm the only person smelling that but you know my boy smell my third boy like it so whenever he comes he comes and use it i don't use it that much but you can see some dent in there so he comes in and use it when he sprays it i don't smell that metallic or the plastic smell from the my son but that is how it smells like i don't know maybe it's be it's just me maybe it doesn't smell like that but this plastic smell aftermath plastic smell is just something that i don't know and the story behind this is um my son one of my my son's friends came here and she was smelling you know like very nice perfume and i asked her and she said it's victoria's secret so i look for it everywhere even in a duty-free shop when i bought this bombshell one um i was looking for it i couldn't find it and then we came to australia back and um another lady also came in she was smelling the same and i asked her and she said baby hair so this one smells like that victoria's secret i can't remember the name so i was like okay i'm going to get it and i got it baby hair and i got it i still like the smell it's just the plasticky smell you know that's why it is not one of my top okay that is the main reason why but it smells really really good um the price is also good i mean i really don't mind paying the price that i pay for this perfume which is okay i'll you know i'll put the link down below if i don't put the link down below you can google it um you know baby hair perfume they have the baby hair intense the baby hair blossom and then the baby hair this is the original one so check this one out okay i love this one but i think the only problem is that you know the aftermath smell um and my next one um i would say it's this perfume it's this guess the seductive this is the noir i think noir means black or night i'm not really sure in french this is the guess noir okay 
so i went to the shop i wanted to buy the guest the you know original guest and the lady was talking about oh there's a new one called the guest noir it smells really good a lot of people like it and i decided to get it do i like it um yes is it part of my favorite yes but my mom said something about perfumes and ever since that's one what she said is also playing on my mind she said if you are buying perfume for me don't buy anything that is edible something that smells or smells like something i can eat okay and ever since my mom said that this thing is just playing on my mind so it smells like caramel ice cream or vanilla ice cream that is how it smells like like how long it stays on you 24 hours okay i mean i spare it on me um some time ago for work and the following day it was still there so that is why i like this perfume okay the price is really good the price is you know paying for 75 mil and also it stays very long on you i think it's a good price to me i think it's a good price so if you want something that smells like caramel or vanilla you know something that smells like something you can eat i think this is the very best perfume for you to go um so that my next one would have to be that okay vera wang i think vera wang look at the big size like you know and the price is to die for i don't think this is even more than 60 dollars okay it's 100 mil i like the presentation you know i like my perfume to look very very simple and this is exactly what this is giving me this is the vibe this is giving me with the smell it smells really expensive mm, i like this perfume i don't know why it is not up the top 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 but yeah i like this perfume i think the reason why it is not up the top is it doesn't stay on you for long okay you can get about six hours from this okay and the price is really good less than 60 dollars i believe for 100 mil the price is really really good just try it you know okay vera one try it it's really good the presentation to die for the smell excellent i love it so you try it and see how you go and i think my next one is going to be Kevin Klein okay downtown all right all right again this is also the presentation okay I love the presentation the reason why I bought it is because of the way it's presented very simple and nice okay and um yeah that is not my scent of the day so I don't want to confuse myself so I'm not going to spray it but yes this is um I think it's um, 72 mil no, 75 mil or something or 50 mil i'm not really sure i think it's going to be a 50 mil and the price is not that expensive okay the price for kelvin klein is not that expensive and the other time i spray it and i think i got about five hours from this okay but i really like the perfume it's really nice the presentation is excellent if you want to try kelvin klein just try give this one a go okay price is really good it smells really good and also you get about five to six hours of it okay so just try this one so my next one now i am going to my top top five or six i think my top top perfume that i think every woman needs to get it in their collection okay and number one is going to be i've reviewed this perfume before i don't know why i just love it even though a friend of mine said it gives a headache ah. Ah, my goodness my jacob daisy who's so fresh I love this I love this it is not that strong it is not very mild too so it is in between flurry floral I love this perfume give it a go this is 125 mil and it doesn't cost that much the price is really good for what you are getting and you get about 10 hours from this okay but then my son my second son liked this perfume well he put this dent in it my second son liked this perfume he will spray it and then um, in the morning and then at night time he comes home he just opened the door and you can still smell him i think because i have a very dry skin i can only get you know i would say about eight to ten hours for this but it totally depends how your skin is okay so i have dry skin and perfume doesn't smell longer on me but i can get 10 hours so try this 125 mil they have 100 mil and i think they have 50 mil or something so try it and see but please don't forget as i always say sample it first before you get it because i've done this youtube made me buy it and i regret it okay so just sample it first before you buy it. my next perfume is going to be do you remember this perfume i reviewed this perfume and i was going on about it smelling like baby's powder yes it still smells like baby's powder but it is one of my top top because when you spray it you know it smells like baby's powder but then when it gets on your skin it smells different it smells very expensive my most complimented perfume is this 
my most complimented perfume people compliment me when i put on this perfume is the Burberry hair intense okay this is the Burberry hair intense i show you the other one is the Burberry hair the original one and Burberry hair intense and my last video i talk about the Burberry hair blossom it is one of the perfume that i thought overpriced um so it is in there so i'll put a link the video of this um this perfume down below so you can also check that one out so this is the baby hair intense <sighs> it smells really good i love this perfume i love this perfume i do love this perfume try it and see okay however perfumes are personal okay so you may not like it but good this is really good my next one my three top class perfume that I like okay I like Chloe I love Chloe so number three so this is in the bottom of the three perfumes but I love this perfume however I still have this love and hate just like the Jimmy Choo summertime I don't want to have anything to do with this perfume for some reason I don't know summertime is like I don't want to have anything but I can wear it in the evening okay so I like this perfume when it is very cold when it is you know cool you know weather but not summer for some reason please don't ask me i have no reason to not wear it during summer but summer i'm like get away from me from this perfume but chloe this is number three number three my favorite this is number three just try it and see i love it this is the 75 mil and the price is for what you are getting this stays 24 hours i'll put it on me and then the following day is still there okay this is how long that this perfume smell i mean what can you ask for if you have a perfume that you like and it's not for a very very long time you know i mean any price you buy it, i think it's worth the price okay i think it's worth the price for me my number two next one you know i'm still going uh you know from the bottom to the top is everybody's favorite this perfume is like if you have or if you talk to a hundred people about 99 and a half people like this perfume this is chanel coco chanel mademoiselle everybody it's like everybody like this perfume it is very very popular it smells very expensive high class of people my goodness this perfume is like every woman should have this perfume in their collection i really want to try the coco mademoiselle intense because I was told that one stays longer on you and it also, I mean, it's intense, so it smells intense, so. But please, if you were a woman, please sample it first. But I know you are going to like this. Everybody love it. Everybody have it in their collection, okay? Everybody have this in their collection. People love this perfume. And see, I've got the 200 ml. Because when I sample it, I'm like, I would like this, so I am going for the bigger one, okay? I love this one. So this is number two, this is number two. Chanel, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. I really want to try the intense. At least if I buy the 50 ml, I really want to try it. It smells the same, but that is very intense. It smells a longer on you and it is it smells a bit stronger than this, okay? But if you don't buy this one and you buy this one, it's the same, the same price, you know. I got this from Maya and it is the same price, like you know, the intense. So just see how you go. People don't like very strong perfumes, and people will lean towards this one. If you don't like very, very strong perfume, Maybe you have to go for this, but I have this and I want to try the intense because there's a lot of reviews, like positive reviews, you know, about this perfume. My number one, Baccarat Rouge 540. This is my number one. And I even told my boys, you can take any perfume from here, but if you touch this, I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, so this is my number one best perfume. I love this perfume. This is my number one best perfume. Look. I have all these perfumes here but look at the dent i put in this i love this perfume and i think it's the most expensive of my perfumes it's very expensive guys it is this is just 90 ml and i've reviewed this perfume before i think i got a bad buy when i reviewed it i bought it 200 ml and i bought it from like i think someone reselling reselling it for me so it was very very expensive but then you know i have to take it back because i was saying that it was you know out of the shelf out of shelf date or something and it wasn't really smelling like the baccarat rouge 540 i know so i have to take it back yes they gave my money back to me they put it on a um gift card which they were happy to give me my money back on my card but this is what i wanted to do you know i just i'm um, save up for this perfume so i was happy for them to put it on a gift card and i got it uh, um, on a gift card and then i bought this from mecca shop okay 
Maker Shop. So I bought this from Maker Shop. I used my gift card and I bought this from Maker Shop. All right. So this is the 90 mil or the 70 mil. I think this is the 70 mil. How many mils is that? Yeah, 70 mil. And it is very, very expensive, guys. It is very, very expensive. Well, you know, my level, this is very, very expensive. 70 mil, it costs a lot and a lot of money. But who cares? Just get this in your, you know, in your collection. I mean, everybody have it in your collection. So get this in your collection. This is my number one. This is my top, top, top most loved perfume that I can wear it all the time. You know, it's like all the time, not to work though, because it smells very strong. If you don't like strong perfume, please don't. I don't know. Initially, it smells very strong, but then you know it just tones down to your skin, and you know, it smells very, very expensive. You know, very, very high class. You know, that's how this one smells like. Baccarat Rouge 540. This is my favorite. Okay my favorite guys i don't know about you if you have anything that smells you know better than what i just showed you please let me know in the comment section down below please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel once you've been able to watch this video from the start to the finish you must like this channel so please subscribe click the subscription button subscribe okay and also turn the notification button anytime i post a video you'll be the first person to be notified thank you so much for having the time and watching this long video i told you it's going to be very long for watching this long video Okay. So put all your comments if you have any comments. My name is Joey. I am a